Hi, my name is Chuck Schramm with Zero Motorcycles, and we're here at Youngblood Power Sports for the uh, Zero Demo Days. Uh, if you've never ridden electric motorcycles, I call them the Magic Carpet Ride. They're phenomenal bikes, quiet, they're fast. Uh, you know, they're good for the environment. There's no emissions, there's no exhaust, there's nothing. And uh, it's, they, they're a penny mile to run. That's it, just a penny mile to run. And um, you talk about the fun factor, it's, like I said, it's a magic carpet ride. Hit the throttle and poof, you're just gone. And um, you get to anywhere from, the bikes get anywhere from, uh, the big bikes, the road bikes get anywhere from 147, 160 oh. miles of charge around town to up upwards of 80 miles on a freeway doing 70 miles an hour. Charge time, you're looking at, uh, if you just plug in the wall 110, you're looking at overnight charge time. And when I talk charge time, I talk from when the battery is fully dead and fully charged. You're looking overnight. Now, there's a new accessory to camera called the charge tank that I have on this particular mile, the DSR, where you can pull up to any station, any charge station other than the Tesla, and plug it in, and then it's a tissue under three hours, fully dead and fully charged. So it really greatly enhances the charge time. So if you're down there, like say you're out riding around, you get down 30, 40 percent, go to lunch, come back, it's fully charged, ready to go. That's the nice about charge tank. And um, other than that, I mean, they're just they're just beautiful bikes to ride. They're quiet, they're very comfortable. So, simpli sophisticated simplicity is what we call it. Simple to use, simple to ride, very yeah, very sophisticated. Cheap to operate. Yep. Now the, these uh, level two chargers you're talking about is uh, available on the DSR and the. Yes. And the NSR, yes. And the SR and that kind of, but, but not on the FX. No, not on the FX. Okay. Well, the good thing about it is, especially for people that are off grid, which is what my channel is about, is the fact that uh, in the middle of the day uh, is typically the time when you have extra power. In other words, uh, your batteries on your system will charge up, and by noon, one o'clock right now, mine, uh, by noon, it's already fully charged. So I have three to four hours in the middle of the day, if I'm not using my power, it's just going to waste. If you're not using it, or if it's not going to the battery, it's going to waste. Now, the perfect thing on this charge tank here is that in three hours, if it's completely down, I can completely charge it in three hours. It's uh, 220, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, my system does 220. A lot of off-grid systems do 220. So you just need a... Uh, well, if you're at home, for example, you just need to install an at-home level two charger. So you could buy them. I've seen them for five, six hundred dollars even. So they're out there. They're available. You plug it in in the middle of the day. You charge your bike up. Now, you, now you haven't spent any money <laughs> to put gas in your motorcycle, <laughs> right? So now you're out riding, and you've got an electric bike that uh, is nice and quiet, basically maintenance-free, and you're charging it with your own power, and maybe with the power that you're typically uh, not using at all, you're just throwing away. So excess power, that's the way I think about it. So that's basically why I'm looking at this motorcycle. Now I'm gonna zoom in so you can kind of see how simplistic this is. And get a picture of it. Now here's what it looks like. Let's flip that baby up. We can do that. And that's really all it is, right there. You just have a little plug. And if you're out and about, you pull up to a level two charger, you just plug that in, and then what does it say? Does it say something on the uh, yeah, display? It'll, yeah, it'll fire up your display, and it will show you how long it is to fully charged, whether it's, whether it's 45 so it'll give minutes, you the, an hour. Right. It'll tell you that. And also, time. what you might want to do, too, is is if, you, if you're riding electric motorcycles, download PlugShare on your cell phone. Okay. And PlugShare will tell you where every plug is in every town, okay? There you go, those and, are Yep, and so what you do then, like this is Springfield, for instance, these are some plugs around Springfield. I uh, just hit one, like the Greenway, the Green State Hotel, that's Tesla and a wall plug. And what you're looking for with this new plug charger, with this new charge tank, is you're looking for EV, and 80% of all plugs out there are EV plugs. So click on it, here's one right here, Hilton Garden Inn, Tesla and EV plug. So you can pull up the Garden Inn there, and, and you click on it, it'll tell you, where, wherever you're at, I'll tell you how far it is to get to there. Like this one is 4.4 miles. And, and it's got two Tesla high-powered wall connections and one 1772 plug, which is, what, which is what our charger is. And they don't charge anything to plug it, to charge it. Amazing.
So and no matter where you're at, it, it, the bigger towns, of course, there's the infrastructure for electric transportation is really coming into play now. It's huge. And, and more and more charging stations are added every day around the country. So, there you go. So it makes it makes riding electric that much easier, that much more simple. So it's a new way to ride and very inexpensive. And the uh, what's what's the approximate prices for the dealer on these bikes? For the consumer? Yes. Yeah, you're looking okay. So you're looking at uh, you're looking anywhere from eighty nine hundred up to fifteen thousand nine hundred. Depending on the, it depending on what mile you get. Right. Okay. We got six different models. We got two street models, the S model, and then the SR. The SR, anything with R, it doesn't even behind. It's high performance. Right. So the SR, the red one right there, high performance, zero to sixty in three point three seconds. Uh, and then the DSR, same thing. And then little, and what you're looking at there on those two bikes is 106 foot pounds of torque and uh, 68 horsepower. Uh, and then on the, on the on the little brothers, I call them the S and the in the in the DS, which they don't have here. You're looking at 68 foot pounds of torque and and uh, 54 horsepower. Wow. Okay, and a little FX is you're looking at 70 foot pounds of torque and, and uh, 44 horse. So it's uh, basically good transportation, for, especially for people that have electric, and you can always, uh, with that uh, charge tank, you call it the charge tank, right? Yep, charge tank. So you can, uh, if you're in a big city or a place that has that, uh, and there's quite a few. We're just in Springfield, Missouri, so there's quite a few, as you can see right there. So they're around, and they're gaining more and more every day. So. Pretty soon, uh, I've already seen a lot of people riding these things to work and riding them around, riding them on long rides, even more than what I would probably do, but it's already happening now. So this is the uh, new way to get around. And if you're one of these people that uh, is on solar, it's just a good way of using your solar system. So that'll be a wrap for this one. And uh, you can go to their, uh, mo uh, give them your website and Our your website YouTube is, if you have it. Yep, www.zeromotorcycles.com. And, and it's a great website. You can it'll it'll it, it'll actually tell you the distances you can go. It'll show you via map. Uh, it, it's just a great website to look at anything you want to see. Uh, you can go in and watch people, watch uh, consumers of bottom motorcycles, talk about them. Um, it's just it's so go to www.zeromotorcycles.com and take a look. And you can also find them on YouTube as well. So yes, and watch their daily updates. So it's David with Branson Off Grid. Thank you for watching.